Hello and welcome to video number seven. We're going to talk about the Facebook tracking code, which is known as the Facebook pixel. This code is very important. It's not just a code that you place on your website, but this piece of code can track everything that goes on in your funnel from people landing on your landing page, your opt-in page, to subscribing, to your thank you page, to your add to cart, to your purchase page, your thank you page, and all of that. And what it allows you to do is it allows Facebook to figure out who your ideal customer is. Now, obviously you need to do what we call training the pixel first and foremost, which basically means that you are telling it based on the data that you're sending it, who's a customer, who's not a customer, and how Facebook is able to go throughout its database to find the customers. So the pixel is very powerful. It can do many different things, more than what we just talked about, but let's dive in and let's show you what it's all about. Okay, so to create a Facebook pixel, all you need to do is simply go to business.facebook.com, log in, and up at the top, click the menu, and this will drop down. And then you'll want to click on all tools or put your mouse over this and click on pixels. Once you've done that, you will reach this page. And this page will show you all of your Facebook pixels. Bear in mind that you can create as many pixels as you want, but for the sake of this example, we'll just create one pixel. So what you need to do is when it says add new data source, click this here. And also keep in mind that Facebook changes their user interface a lot of times, like every single week. So what you wanna do is if it does change, look for the Facebook pixel creation. So we're gonna click on add new data source, click on Facebook pixel. And the next thing we'll do is click on pixel name. So we'll call this scuba diving pixel. You can enter their website URL if you want to, but you don't have to, it's optional. Click create. And Facebook will create the pixel. Now it's time to get the pixel. So Facebook is gonna give you different options. You can connect to a specific partner platform if you wanna just go ahead and install it there. But for the most part, you're probably not gonna be using this so you want to manually install the pixel code yourself. You can email the instructions to a developer if you have one, but if you don't, click this one here right here. So now it's gonna say locate the header code for your website. And up at the top, when you're editing your HTML or you're using something like lead pages or click funnels or another landing page builder, you wanna enter the script in the head code. So this is gonna be the pixel right here. So we're gonna click this here and it immediately copies it and we click continue. Now, Facebook has what we call events. And what events are, are basically parts of your funnel. You can tell it, okay, if somebody lands on your, your, your first page, you can call it a lead. If somebody fills in their email, and their name to get perhaps uh, a lead magnet or a freebie, you can send them to the next page, which could be the thank you page. So what events allow you to do is it allows you to track everything through the funnel. But in order to get that to work, you need to insert the pixel into your HTML or your website page. Now to give you a good idea of the events, if you go here, it'll give you some ideas of different events that you can track. So you can track view content, search, add to cart. So if somebody adds an item to the cart, you can add the pixel code on the card page so that you can track that data. You can track the purchase. So if you click that, you can see it gives you the script code right here and tells you how to track it. So the script code is F bq track and then the word purchase now you're going to see a pattern here if you take a look at subscribe for example it says fbq track subscribe so basically the word the second word here is replaced by that particular event 
So we've got, we can scroll back to the top here, view content, that's FBQ and the second word is just view content. So all you need to do is simply add that to your pixel code. Okay, so we're not gonna dive too much into this. We're gonna move to the next video and show you how to set up your ads.